does textual analysis as we did in the last module that was analysis of a text do we need every time maxims of cooperation to understand the meaning of or the flaws of a textual argument we will try to find out answer to this question in this module this is a question about application of Christ maxim naturally a question arises is there any possibility to conduct textual analysis without maxims of cooperation sometimes conveyed meaning the meaning that is not directly stated it is hidden conveyed meaning also called implicator in terms of grice he calls this hidden meaning conveyed meaning implied meaning implicator he introduced this term to differentiate his meaning the theory of meaning from other implied meaning because there is another kind of implied meaning that is called entailment in logic there is an other kind of meaning that is uh, also unstated we call them presuppositions so all these are implied they are unsaid to differentiate from these other implied meanings grice introduced the term implicator so sometimes this conveyed meaning or implicated does not need cooperation maxim this is the initial answer to our question that we raised in this month sometimes we don't need them such meanings are included in the meaning of the words used in the text this is the reason that we don't need to understand this we take two examples see this short text women officers have legal redress but by any standards 1 lakh pounds is a vast sum of money for injured feeling now i have capitalized the word but this is very important it conveys the meaning the hidden meaning the implicator without resort to without need of applying maxims we understand that the writer of this text makes a contrast between the legal redressal and the award that is paid to the victim there is no equality between them there is contrast difference between them so this hidden meaning of difference or contrast is conveyed by the word but because contrast is essentially essential part of the meaning of but it suggests that about this is what i have already explained now see the second text is this political correctness gone mad or has the female officer been subject to harassment so much as to be worse than the loss of a limb actually these texts are taken from an editorial of a newspaper in which the victim of harassment is a police officer and in uh, countries like us the victim of harassment is usually paid some uh, award you can call it as they say this is an award so that the victim should remain silent okay now here 1 lakh pound was paid 
question is is this political correctness gone because harassment is a term that is under the area of political correctness so it refers to harassment is this political correctness gone mad was it irrational or has the female officer been subject to harassment so much as to be worse than the loss of a limb it was so injurious so serious as if she lost some limb of her body what was there to understand meaning of this begging again uh, read it begging with b e w g i n g begging question you already know this so it is a kind of circular reasoning so instead of presenting reasons the writer asks question the writer needs cooperation of the reader what is that cooperation the reader would understand that this is a some kind of genuine issue that needs further reasoning for uh, that needs further debate the writer expects that the reader should not divert should not pay attention to the previous talk he should now attend to the answer to this new question so in response to a debate a new debate is started by posing this question so again here we find a logical fallacy here to find out this fallacy that relevant information is not provided maximum of quantity helps us because the speaker is not providing information that can support this new debate this new argument so see how begging fallacy was pointed out by maximum of quantity so in this case in text like this we do need maxims of cooperation to understand to dig out the meaning of the text otherwise words can also convey the meaning of the text so it is not that we need maxims of cooperation all the time and you will do this task to understand things we discussed in this module and this is very interesting international uh, uh, event uh, that was uh, uh, dominant in international press and media etc and it would be fresh in your memories recently i mean in 2023 mr trump ex president of usa faced exactly the same situation discussed in this module he too paid a huge money to the victim of harassment as the lady alleged against him and uh, to keep her silent okay get the whole story from the archive of us newspapers or pakistani newspapers or such videos of the trial a uh, court trial of this uh, uh, allegation from youtube watch the videos or read the news reports after that analyze this story with the help of gracian maxims to understand where is flaw in the reasoning and how do you find out this flaw with the help of gracian maxim and how you mend them we conclude that we can understand conveyed our implied meaning of a text whether it is written or oral with and without maxims